right here is a nice little trick that you can use to create images that have um, uh, multiple links in different parts of it. So um, it kind of makes the visuals that you have a little bit more interesting, a little bit more interactive. Um, so let's let's get started. I just did a quick Google search uh, for a school bus and I set it for labeled for non-commercial non reuse with modification. And so this is the picture that I've chosen and I've already saved it to my desktop. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to the Google Drive and what we'll do is we'll click on new. Down here, we'll go to uh, Google Drawings. And this is a shared folder, so I wanna share it with, the, with everybody that's there. And here it comes up and I'm just going to rename this one picture school bus um, and so I've got that picture right here and I'm just gonna drag it and it kind of snaps right into the Google drawing and then you can move it around um, I'm gonna slide it right up so it meets that upper left corner and I'm gonna take and drag so that the image will just be the school bus so it's kind of a, a simple drawing, simple image, which is which is good for this example. Um, what we're going to do is I have a couple of links that I've already opened up here. And what I want to do is I want to make different parts of this picture um, stand out as uh, a hyperlink. <clears throat> so um, what we'll do is uh, here's the first link. We've got uh, buses are the safest mode of transportation. So I'm just gonna copy this link and we'll go back to our drawing. And what I'll do is I'm gonna go to a shape and for this one, I'm going to make a square and I'm just gonna outline and cover up where it says school bus because that link is about school buses. And I'm gonna insert the link, I'll paste it in and apply. So this is not super helpful because we just cover that up. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on that shape and when I go up to the fill, I'm gonna make it transparent. And I'm also going to do the same thing with the line. So now we've got a shape here and it's transparent, but the link is embedded in that shape. Uh, okay, so let's get a couple more uh, tips for surviving your first day of school. Let's copy that one. We'll go back to our drawing and we'll make another shape. We'll get we'll do a square again. And I'm going to take this one, put it right over here like this. And for this one, I'm going to change this one. We'll copy that same link that we just took in here and we'll apply it. And the same idea, we have to take this shape, we'll make the fill transparent and we'll also make the lines transparent. Uh, let's see, we've got, what do we got? Tips for crossing the street. Let's copy this one. We'll go back to our picture. I'm gonna put that on the stop sign. So let's make this a round and we'll fill in this stop sign and we'll add in the link, paste that one in. And you can see this is getting redundant. We're gonna make it transparent and we'll make the line transparent. So we can't see any of them. Uh, I do have one more and I'll copy this one here. Debates on uh, school buses should have seat belts. And we'll make this one a little bit more challenging to find. So I'm gonna pick a circle again, but all I'm gonna do is just make it so it's just this headlight. And we'll add in the link. And once again, transparent and transparent. So all of those shapes as well as the picture have already shown up right here. Uh, we can't see the shapes because we made them for the most part invisible and making them transparent, uh, but they're there. Um, and then what I like to do, depending on, um, it's just a habit that I do in, in case we've got uh, different shapes that were created, I just select everything and I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna group them all together. So then if I have to move things around, um, they, everything stays in the same place relative to each other. So what is beneficial for this? Well, we can now take this uh, drawing this Google drawing and we can embed it in any of the Google suites so we can put it into a Google Doc or sheet or slide um, you might want to put this in part of a Google Doc doc that you use on Google Classroom uh, or what I like to do is put it onto a Google Sites so I've got one of them open up over here and what we're going to do is just 
from our drive. I know where this one is in here. It's in this and it's in the image folder. We're going to scroll down and here's our school bus. We'll insert that one. And there it is. And you're like, well, it still looks the same. Like, what's the big deal? If we preview this page and we scroll down to it, here's our school bus. And we notice, you see that? If we scroll over the stop sign, we get a hyperlink. If we go over the windshield, we get a different one. If we go over the headlight, we get the other one. And the first one that we put is actually up over here. So now different parts of this picture have links that take you to those links that we applied to each of those sections. So that's kind of nice. Um, all right, let's take a look at another way that we can do the same thing, but you don't have to do it with um, you don't have to do it with a, with a picture like this. You can also do it with an image that you create. All right, so maybe you want to create a drawing or an image that has different uh, links that are embedded with it. So uh, let's just make a really simple one. So I've opened up a new uh, Google drawing and I'm just going to pick a circle for a shape and I'm going to make a big circle. And then I'm going to grab my circle and just bring it all the way over and up so it's there. I'll bring this side over. So all that we have for our Google Drawing is just the circle itself. Pretty close. Uh, I'm going to click on it. I don't like this color. It's kind of boring. Let's make it a little bit brighter. That's definitely brighter. Um, what we want to do is maybe divide this into quadrants or something. So I'll make a line and we'll just grab from here all the way down. There's one line. And now let's make another line from here and we'll go across. There we go. So we've got our, our different sections that are there. Maybe you want to add um, text or you could also add different pictures or something else that's in um, in this drawing. So I'm just going to put in school buses are safe. And let's make this a little bit bigger so it will show up How about 24. And we'll make this centered. So this is just a quick example. It <clears throat> doesn't have to be perfect for this one. Um, and what we can do is we can actually take uh, this right here, this object, and we've got school buses are safe. And we'll take that same uh, link. We'll go back to our drawing. Uh, we've got this text box selected. And we'll just paste that in. So now what we've got is same as before, when we take a look and we, we try to put this onto a Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, or on the website, uh, this part over here is going to have, um, it's going to have the, the link that's associated with it. Uh, you can also put shapes within shapes if you wanted to, and then you can go back and make it transparent. Uh, so I'm just going to do a couple more of these, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I've, I've just put in <clears throat> just a little bit of text simple text, change the colors a little bit on our, our uh, very simple diagram, but you could do it with uh, a drawing rather. You could do it with um, more complexity, less complexity. You could put other shapes in here as well. Uh, and all that I did was I did the same procedure with the others. And so now each one of these um, text boxes has a link. So there's one over there, right? I apply this one, uh, apply this one over here. So each one has, um, each one has a link. Uh, what I'd like to do though is I think I'm going to make the border just a little bit bigger Kind of give it a little bit more of a pop even for our simple diagram uh, The other thing I'll, I'll do is I'm going to select everything and When I right click I want to group it so it all gets stuck together in case I need to move it around um, The text and the lines and the shapes will all move together um, Again, this can be inserted into any of the Google suites. Let's go back to our um, website however and we'll just put in this image, just like we did with the school bus. Here it is. And we'll insert it. And here's just a very simple diagram. Uh, if we go to our preview again, and we scroll all the way down, there it is. Uh, and if we hover over each section, you can see we get our links that are there. So, and if we click on one of these, it opens up a new tab with the links that we've embedded. 
So there you have it. You can um, uh, really customize any of these uh, drawings that you have to have links and you can hide them in there. Um, great for scavenger hunts. Um, makes it a little bit more fun if you have some type of a hyper document. You can try to do it with, with pictures. Uh, and of course the new thing that I've seen all over the internet now is with breakouts where you've got these different codes and there's different clues and the uh, students try to figure out uh, what the answers are. You could give some of the clues this way, pictorially. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching.